Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris, the Life Seated series. I'm your host, Colors Fade, and it's episode 23. It is the year 2476. Our empire is embroiled in many wars in many places. So it's going to be a big war episode today. But first, let's resettle some pops. We'll we figure out how we're going to deal with this. The one thing we haven't had to face yet is the end game crisis. It's not come upon us. So I'm kind of wanting to get out of these wars before the proverbial poop hits the fan. Because it feels like something that's going to happen very soon. Wow, so some of our rings are completely full now, which is amazing. Oh, let's take a look at that ring seat. Yeah, and we turned off all the pop growth stuff. We don't have robots being made on this anymore, so that's a good thing, but it means we need to move a few more people around now. We have a new ring world being constructed somewhere. I think it's right there. Yep, there it is. So, That'll provide us with some more places to put people. This planet says, I need more jobs. Yes, I know you do. Um, you have four more housing, so you're going to need the equivalent of either four more jobs or something like this. These are really good for just putting strongholds on, aren't they? Because of the way that they... See, this adds three, so now it's got a bunch of jobs that can't fill. If you bump that up, it's going to get three more housing and three more jobs. So the perfect kind of thing for it is, let's see. If you bump that up, it's going to provide two more housing and two more jobs. So then you need a total of seven jobs to kind of even it out. This commercial zones might be the best answer here. I need to sit down and figure out the math and figure out exactly what the ideal combination of buildings and districts is. Because <laughs> I kind of, I kind of been winging it on those. This place. What? We're building robots here. What are we building? Miners. Good. At least we're building. At least we're specifically building the right robots. Uh oh, mineral production plant. There you go. This planet's done. And the only ring we have to send people to anymore is ring D, and it's starting to get. Full. So let's take a look at ring D. Where is that at? Right there. Oh, but it has room to provide a bunch of jobs more. All we have to do is do this. <laughs> it's building research segments. So there are going to be more jobs for it. That'll be wonderful. We'll be able to start moving people to ring D. This one says you can bump that up, but there's no, there's no housing for that. Now we could do this. We could do this. We could switch some food over. It's not like we're dying for food. Um, we might do that. City district. Oh, we're short. Some minerals. Might just buy some. So that we can keep building things here. That's going to provide more jobs, but it's not going to provide all the jobs that that place needs. So what we're going to do is move some specialists over. To ring D. There we go. This place, this is done. Yeah. So the cool thing is, ring D is about ready to provide a whole bunch more jobs, which will be fantastic. No, oh, and they lost their leader because I went below 100. You know what? You can send your leader to ring D as well, because he'll get a job there. In fact, because we're going to go to ring D and we're going to say, build. Oh, and we did. We said build the planetary administration. Back, build that next, and then that guy can get that job. He'll just be like, oh, I'm tailor-made for this role. Yes, you are. This is the same thing. They're running short of housing, and they still have three more jobs. So we're going to take one of these mining districts and replace it with the city district so that they can have enough place, enough room. This is just a straight resettle to Z-Ring World. Clerk. Just give them some extra room. So much resettlement. 
but I would very much I'm I'm excited for the possibility of how this might how this whole episode might play out yeah, in the next few actually um, these guys have unemployment we're gonna make the ring D very unstable here with this so I think what we're gonna do is stop resettling there unless there's a place that has room yeah like this this needs more jobs but it's like but we can provide them with more jobs actually if we build a couple more things here so if we build gene clinics so they have gas extraction wells you can be put on this planet planet limit of one we'll do that that'll give that person a specialist job and then these are all frontier section these are all planets over here that we've acquired so these have to be dealt with um, they, they thought they were going to build research. Planetary supercomputer. Um, do we have undesirables? Let's check and see. It's declining this, yes, these robots. So, on these planets, um, the only thing we can really do is enact martial law. But I don't, well, I have the influence to spend, I guess. They have, they have this habitat with 109 people on it. Oh my gosh. Wow. That, that we're going to... Yeah, we're going to get rid of 88 of them. Because <laughs> we're going to get rid of six people on here. Planetary supercomputer. This is another habitat. Zert. Um, since this is a habitat, I'm going to rename it. But I'll keep the original name. This is Orbital Habitat. We'll keep the names. This is a continental world. They're going to get rid of 11 people. Uh, they need stuff really bad. They need a bunch of housing. So change this to, to give them housing. And oh, we can put down a galactic stock exchange right away. I don't know what I want to do with this world yet. We'll figure it out. Uh, we'll put food on here. We might just make it rare resources. We might make it refineries. Hydroponic farms. Food processing. So let's do this. Make it an agri world for right now. And then where where is the center of this sector? Root. Rue. Ru. Habitat Zer Zerichi. But the planet is called Ruinam. I mean the system is called Ruinam. So... I never like this when they don't match. So Ruinam is going to get rid of some people and it has all this food on it. Oh my goodness. Hydroponics worms. Oh, it's also a hab. It's an orbital habitat. So there are no planets here. Erexis. Oh, it's this is. So this is Ruinam. I don't know. I'm just going to call it one because that way I know it's a planet. So you get to be the sector capital. We'll give you somebody hopefully who fights crime. Nope. Not so lucky. We could move one of our crime fighters over there. Certainly. Like this person. Yes. And then we have to go find that sector. Ruin him. There's all those people that showed up. I'm trying to pause. There you go. Here we go. So now we can give you a new governor. We can give you this research person. I don't know how much... You're not doing any research there, but... We could certainly move that person from a little more optimism. There's a research planet here. But we have bureaucracy person there. There is research being done here. And we have a research person. Is there re And there's research on there with our, our, all of our ring worlds that are researched. So that's great. They're getting good bonuses for that. Okay. All right, this these are here. We'll do declare martial law, and we'll have to remember to come back to this planet and, and take care of it. Tick sash. And there is martial law. All right. So, in light of that, all of that taken care of. Let's get to. Oh my goodness, one of these. Oh, these shipyards here. Um, I'm going to want this to connect. 
I want this one to connect to here. He's going to be gathering a bunch of trade. This one, what's it doing? What is this star base doing? It's just a bunch of anchorage. Um, we're well under our limit now because of how spread out we are. These are not necessary, and in fact, they don't. They don't have anything built on them. This one, however, we can build stuff up on. Oh, there's a nebula refiner. Fun. Upgrade it. But the thing I really want right here is this one. I want it to gather trade from one trade space away. And then uh, there are planets here that we can colonize, which would be great. Uh, let's do that, in fact. Oh, who's the most likely to go? You guys, right here, because this is our... Oh, this is an orbital habitat. So it doesn't matter who we send. Um, yeah. We'll call this... Um, let's, let's just call it... Let's start from the other end of the alphabet. Hab Z. Okay, and so this is a habitat too? Yes. Colonize. And let's call this uh, a Y. Alright, so we get some habitats over there. The big thing is, what I want to do is get my transport fleet. Where is it? It's still moving and it's almost there. Good, we're going to take these guys out. Great. And these guys. And then we can maybe kind of put an end to this. This is Takashi Trade Union. We're going to move you right over there. Alright, let's get to the war part of this war episode. Um, what are you guys doing? You're right there. You guys are right there. Go. Go do this. There's a big war over here. There's a big war over here. These systems lies within the Republic of Yim space. What do we have for wars? The Republic of Yim um, was not our war. We didn't start it. So we're waiting for the rest of our Federation to say. This one settled status quo, the 001 integrators. We just want to kill them. So we're going to keep fighting them. So this is less of a big deal. What I want to do over here is have you guys. How many fleets do we have? Repair thyself. And get that big fat juggernaut there to help you. This fleet has been over here. There's these two fleets. Why don't you, little guy, go over here and kill that if you can. I don't even know that you can survive. How strong are you? 1.1k? Should be strong. Go like this and then go here. There you go. Free boss Hachu. So hopefully, our boys over there. What's. How many people on this planet? Zirichi. How many armies? 240. Gentlemen, as soon as you're here. Yeah, do I have you already set up to do that? Landing armies. Good. You're already set up. My command says so. Great. Because I would like to get that done. I, the sooner we can get these guys done and out of here, the better. There's also the whole fortress event over there, which I haven't done any research on. I can't remember the exact protocols to do. Oh, and capacity overload. Index. Okay. Healthcare campaigns. What else? Anything else? Ambition. Scientific revolution. Always keep that going. Will to power. Monthly influence. Always keep that going. Grand fleet. Uh, monthly minerals. Might as well turn on. Hearts and minds. We've got a bunch of people who are new to our empire because we're taking some things over. Make sure that they... They... Uh, believe the way we do. 
let's get these robots done. The sooner we can get these robots done, the better. And Spaceport's sustaining damage. Over here we had these goons, and they're coming in this direction. Where is this going? Right there. Okay. And we said what? We had a fleet over here that doesn't have a leader on it yet. An admiral. What does this X mean? Oh, he's skill level 10 of 10. He's maxed out. Wow, I've never not seen that very often. So this group here, what's your ninth fleet? I hate it when the fleet manager does that. Ninth fleet. Okay, so this is it. It just doesn't have... I'd like to know how many Titans I have, but you got to have the latest version of 2.7 to do it. Let's go without it. Let's forego a Titan. And let's just do this. The swarm to help out up front. Point defense guys. There we go. And then more of these mega lance arc. More mega cannons. Because we're really strong in kinetic damage. Alright. Build those guys. You're gonna you're protecting this area over here. Where's this one go? Way over here. I'd like to get in here with this fleet. And these guys here and take this over and maybe crush that. I don't know. Research What's going concluded. On? Oh, he's coming in there. These guys right here. Okay, great. Fleet silenced. Oh, that was our little guy that we sent over there. He's been sitting around since the beginning of the game, waiting for his turn to battle. Incursion initiative successful. Great. Oh, well, those guys are doing that. Okay, so is there anything else in this system that we need? Yeah, Araxis. Okay, so Araxis. Have Stakashi. Owned by 001. Star Hunters. Planetary incursion was successful. It must have been a different Station one. Sustaining damage. Rising unemployment, I know. On good authority. Okay, what's going on over here in Araxis? Stakashi Trade Union Independent. Where is our where's our troops? Oh, they're right here. Okay, they're right there. Oh, we took this over. Great, what is this? Takashi Trade Union. You guys then. Come over here and grab this. Land armies right there. How many armies are there? 306. You're going to be totally fine. This group of fleets now can gateway to wherever I want them to go. They're not necessary here anymore. So... I need them to go right here because they're coming over here. Okay. That's why we keep getting those messages about our fleets being. Go kill those guys. Up here. What do we have? Are you guys all repaired yet? Moving and merging with fleet. 230. You're still merging. You're done. You are 230 of 230 and you're fully upgraded. So what I'm going to do with you is move you over here. Because that's nothing to be scared of. 24,000. Meanwhile, the other guy is still working on you. This, we said, yes. So these guys conquered this. You guys should just merge. Please. You're going to need a leader soon. You guys go over here and kill that. Research concluded. Of all the things to worry about right now, research, admin capacity, we're going to need, we're going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. 
Where is Patches? Are you done, Patches? There's a little group of mining buildings over here for you. Here's what I want you to do. Go there. And then there. Do that. You can take care of all that stuff over there. What's going on down here in this planet? 179, okay. Commencing planetary incursion initiative. Let's... Reinforcement and transit, okay, good. Um... Planetary incursion initiative successful. Okay, so we got that taken over. Come down here to Lurus. Your armies here. Oh, they're already landing armies. And it looks like they're going to win. Uh, I don't think you need to worry about that. So come over here and land them here at Razil. Meanwhile, this fleet here is probably not necessary. We can probably send it as a reinforcement leg. Get it over here. Reinforcements. Initial colonization phase commencing. You guys just go right here for now. They're going to come to you. You guys are at 2.30. Great. You're next. You're also up there. I want you to go right in here. We're 100% on both of these wars. Our Federation could at any point in time say, oh yeah, we're done with this. Let's see. I want to see this. Colony lost because Takashi Trade Union controls a star base and that's fine with me. I don't care about acquiring more space. I care about putting an end to these wars. <laughs> these guys are just about done. Get him. Good job. So they're done on that planet. We're going to lose that one because we don't control that starbase, which is fine. And I don't even need to control this starbase. I just need to put an end to this robot uprising. Nonsense. You, you go up here. And then go to here. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna come down there. And Initial meet you. colonization phase commencing. More interested with those guys. They're doing. There's a big commencing planetary fleet incursion up here. Thirty nine. Okay. You dudes, I can see what you're doing. Yes. End of the zero zero one integrators. So that ends gonna end this war down here. Good. Just what we wanted. Um, you go here. Good. So that's one war out of the way. So you, and this, we're gonna get this because we have the system, and so we get the gateway system. That's great. We're gonna get this planet right here. We're gonna have to de enact martial law on this one too. Make it an ag world um, for right now. We're going to get rid of some pops, put some things on it. Let's take its star base and make sure there's a trade hub on it. We'll upgrade that in a minute and then let's make sure that uh, this trade hub is connected to the greater trade network, which looks like this, which is so awesome. I love it. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, this fleet, are you ready? Yes, you are. Go over here. That's one way to do it. <clears throat> I'm going to start taking it. We want... Did we claim this? We can't, because somebody else has claims on it. Claimed by the Silicon Manifold. Okay. Well, at least we can help them take it, maybe. Can we claim any of this? We can. Ooh. 
This gets messy though. You'd want to claim all the way up to this choke point. It would work though. So since we're yes, artisan troop. So since we're there, why don't we send these guys down here? And we'll see how much this is going to cost to claim all the way up to at least Lawam, if not Adar. So, one, two, three, four, five. We might as well get something out of this war that we're in. Yeah, we have. Oh, I love it when you've got a lot. And there's a. Let's go all the way up to here. Let's get that. I like the sounds of that. Research concluded. And energy weapon damage. What's this? Sakashi Trade Union has audaciously laid claim to the Tyom system. Well. Wow. Alright, so as nice as my new podcast FM radio DJ microphone is, it doesn't have a mute button for you to mute, to mute out my sneezes, which as you all know following this channel with my allergies it's a it's a thing that happens so there we go some editing gonna happen there this fool go get him what is this guy doing he's 230 of 230 he can go fight somewhere um, the ghost signal great Okay. Okay, so the ghost signal means the contingency. And we're going to want loads of penetrating weapons to cut through their super strong hull and armor. I mean, their super strong shields and armor. And we're going to want lots of shields ourselves to deal with their energy weapons. So what we're going to do right this second, we need to get out of these wars. Um, I think that's a no-brainer. So what I want to do is pull back my people to my gateway systems so we can move around really fast. These guys are going to finish that. These guys are going to pull back. There's a gateway here. You have no orders. Well, let's give you some. You can at least assist research on the planet that doesn't have research. Um, I got you guys here. I want you. Oh, you're still. Oh, you're still building fleets. It looks like you're still building. Yeah, I made both of you build armies. So you're still. Yeah, you're still constructing armies. That's okay. We may need those for something else. Um, ghost signal. All right, dude. Here's the deal. You're going to come back down through here and here. And then you're going to get there as well. This guy is going to take that system, which will be great. You're there. You're going to retreat to a gateway. And the reason we're going to do this is to get all our ships back in shipyards. I just want you to get up here and kill this guy. Okay, you can go there first. That's what you have to do. We need more fleets, which means we need more of this. Which means, how much are we buying right now? Buying a bunch of crystals, which is barely keeping us afloat on crystals. <laughs> We're going to sell some more food then. Um, and we're going to sell some more of this. This is important, but we got to get our fleets ready to go. First fleet, where are you? You're at 230 and you're right there. Okay. I want you to move back up to here. And in fact, jumping yourself back up there... Oh, you can't quite get that far, can you? Let me just go here. Oh, that's such a long way for you to go. Go here first. I'll get you there. This system... To get deep space black site, just put that over the top of it. Oh, and change this to trade. Thank you. And then we'll connect you. Connecting to the trade network. It says yours is not connected. Oh, it isn't. 
Oh, but you just need to be connected to there. Now you're connected to the trade network. Now everybody's connected. What are these other bastions right here? That is that is a bastion, and we might want to upgrade that. Against trouble. That one is less of a problem, but for now, let's continue to upgrade them. Yep, upgrade. Okay, we'll upgrade all of those. I'm fine with that. Wait for these guys to get out of out of the problem. Frontier sector Zurichi. You can't reach the rest of the sectors there, Zurichi. So what you're going to get is your own sector. We'll give you a governor, preferably somebody who's anti-crime if we can find it. We can't. So let's just give you a leader experience gain person. Razil, where are you? Fazil. Same thing, you'll be your own system. We'll hire somebody for you. Building costs, that'd be great. That'd be good for you. Okay. In all these systems, we just can't really worry about decisions, martial law. We don't have enough to enact it. No, we do. It's good. Because it, we got to get rid of the, the mean... Robots. Alright. Um, ha Ring D is in a position where it now has a bunch of jobs. This is good. You can do this. And you can provide another research segment. We can start shipping people off to it. So, what we're going to do for this episode is move people to Ring D. can we move here? There's 97 of you. You could use some more jobs, couldn't you? And change him out. Um, something that will provide, like, this is going to provide two more jobs. This is going to provide a couple more jobs. Just give it something that's going to provide, like, one more job. And we don't need the clone bats. So, again, synthetic crystal plants that provide one job. On this planet, you're done. You have more housing, but unfortunately, we are out of additional space. So send a couple of your people, a couple of your clerks. To that place, let's see. Down here you have not enough housing for all the jobs that we gave you. So we're gonna raise that up, we still need, we're starting to take a ding in consumer goods now. So we're going to do that, and instead we're going to give you another city. And that will provide you with some more clerk jobs as well. You just have to move people. Ring D. You have to move people. Ring D. You have to build. What do you have? Oh, you just have building slots. That's great. It's fantastic. A big fat research planet. Mm -hmm. Why don't you? Um, yeah, we're gonna need more city districts than that, aren't we? Let's just keep building this out for jobs then. Research. You get the research institute. You get another lab, and then it's. I'm gonna give you some more of these. We just need a bunch of these. Keep needing a bunch of crystal plants. This is a refinery world. It says, hey, I need a bunch of jobs. I know you do. You need more jobs, so Galactic Stock Exchange and some more commercial zones. I'm not going to worry about upgrading that. You get to resettle, but here's the problem with resettling that planet. It's at, which one was that? Right here. You're at 90. So what I'd rather do is give you some more jobs. So let's replace this. Because you got the housing to support it. And these guys don't need to be here anymore. This can be a crystal plant. That'll give you some more jobs. And then it'll push you over 90 and you'll be safe from losing administrator jobs when I shrink you back down. This planet says... More jobs. Oh, and you don't even have commercial zones yet. No. Everybody gets those. 
This is... Oh, you need a galactic stock exchange. Everybody gets one of those, too. That's how we keep this ball rolling. Bureaucracy world. Mr. Bureaucracy World. Let's build you another city. You're gonna need it. You're gonna need it. Exotic gas refineries. What do we have here? Yeah, more harvesting traps. One on the planet it's for uniqueness. It'll only let you have the one. And you just need to move people. You have 128. That's fabulous. So you can move plenty of these clerks. Look how many clerks you have. Okay. Down here, this planet is building great. Oh, you don't have anything in your build queue. You need more. We need more of these. Yes, we do. More consumer goods. This hab is going to get rid of nine, 79 people. Wow. Okay, just build that. <laughs> We're building it. We'll make it a uh, refinery station when it gets around to it. All right, let's get our ships in position. Did Are you guys about ready to be done with this? It's a little upsetting that as a, a member I can't encourage them in some small way to uh, end that war. It's like you have them at 100%. Achieve your war goals, whatever they are. You should return from whence you came. Same with you. Suter Station. Wait a minute, which one of you guys is actually coming down here and doing this work? Oh, you are. Yep, yeah, I got you doing this. Good. Research concluded. Right. And then, rising unemployment. Okay. Rogue Synthetics. A unit of Rogue Synthetics, which went off the grid months ago after failing to report for work, was confronted by a team of heavy armed military government agents on Ranch and Prime today. The result is a large public firefight that claimed the lives of dozens of our agents. Great. So the contingencies. All right, here's the alien suit. Nice. Um, what we're gonna do now at the end of this episode is is make contingency ships, and this will be a great time to go over naming scheme. So phase disruptors. Just punch through, boys. And how many shields can I give you guys? Oh, the screen changed. I just now noticed it. Oh, wicked. And now everything's up on the side here. I'm used to seeing it down below. Hmm. Is this... I still can't move it. Okay. So this is going to be CK dash C for the contingency. These are the ships we're going to want to make. I'm trying to put as many shields on this as I can. So that, that And this will help us easily um, be able to to change ships. So kinetic damage. Cloud lightning. What do I have here? I just want to make something that's oh energy siphon. What does this do? It's a shield damage. Um, Stormfire auto cannon punchers. If we do this and can we put more shields on here? We can't get that last slot on there though, can we? We gotta do this. So if we do this, dash, see this becomes a contingency um, ship. And I'm just gonna call it, let's see. This is, I didn't mean to take that screenshot. It's just gonna be a P for a punch through. Cause it's basically using all punch through tech. Uh, point defense. I want to make these a little more defensive and if I change these to punchers so PD dash contingency so we'll upgrade all of our fleets here in a little bit uh, the cruisers what I'm interested in is this guy here 
grab the cloud lightning and for you grab the punchers and for you guys grab as many shields as possible okay so this becomes a punch contingency cruiser the point defense version of it is going to need punch throughs right here okay so punch through contingency and then so this is a missile bow i got an idea here what what else do i have this gunship stern so if we do this devastator torpedoes and then we do this can we do more shield boost okay if we do this this becomes just a uh, I'm gonna call this a G because it's gonna be using all of these missiles and punchers so that'll be a ship that we we'll want to make now what we want to do is use the arc one the arc one with the cloud lightning across the board grab this probably can't fit that on there can we know what about another shield we'll do that so this becomes the b arc contingency and what's artillery core these are my choices okay I see so I don't have one that launches missiles all right and then we're gonna go to the Titan same thing what's it got here it's just got the perdition beam for our Titans so so we'll do that across the board how much can we fit any more on here yeah we can make those really shieldy okay Titan contingency save and our juggernaut is already set up to be basically that thing except it needs the focus documenters and it needs as much of this as we can put on there okay jugs All right, let's get our ships in position. Another day. First fleet, where are you? Okay, I need you here and then get up there. Alien Zoo. Leader lifespan. Which fleet? Third fleet? You're right there. I don't need you there anymore. What I want you to do is go home. Couldn't find a path home. Oh, well then, in that case... Where did he go? Oh, it's like... Into the, into the ether. Fifth Fleet, you're there. Okay. Fifth Fleet, we're gonna change you. Retrofit you with these. Retrofit these. Retrofit these with the punches. And retrofit these with I'm gonna use these missile ones. Retrofit these arc. 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 Titan. Retrofit with that. Okay. Now upgrade fleet. We're actually going to get alloys back from that, it says. That's funny. So that's the fifth fleet. Jugs, where are you? I need you... There's not a shipyard there, is there? This is not a shipyard? It should be. Um, what about this? Let's upgrade this and make this a shipyard. You are the seventh fleet. Okay, 7th Fleet. Same thing for you. Retrofit. Do it. We get all of our 
fleets. Ninth fleet, what are you doing? You're right there. Can you just go kill those guys first? Then we can jump gate you out of there. Kinetic weapon damage. Explosive weapon damage. Let's take that. What is this? Rare crystals. We're still struggling with that, aren't we? Even though we're buying a bunch. Yes, crush them. Concluded. Good. First fleet, where are you? You're up here. You're fighting. You're kung fu fighting. Now can you just jump over to here? Good. Get over there. Great. Now I want you to go home. Research concluded. Leader lifespan. Food from jobs. Let's do that. We'll do some more leader lifespans, but the important thing is to get all of our fleets up here taken care of. What your second fleet? Okay. All right, you guys, let's get you all set up. Battleship. This is the Kind of the tedious part, but do that. Moving to the megalopolis system, Initial great. Yes, everybody move to the megalopolis. <laughs> everybody move to the megalopolis. Yes, that would be great. Try this. Okay, and more research. Energy weapon damage. Explosive weapon attack speed. Yes, let's just do that. The contingency. We'll find out where they're going to be. They're going to be all over the place. And unfortunately for us, we're all over the place. These guys, you're not doing a very good job of killing these guys. And our friends and neighbors here are not doing a very good job of putting an end to this war. It's 10 to 100. Guys, finish them off. They're war exhaustion. Kill them. Put an end to it. Put an end to it. Fourth fleet. I don't think we've touched you yet, have we? Nope. Refit these suckers. Oh, God. Oh, come on. Fleet Initial designer. colonization phase complete. There we go. I take this and refit that. Okay. Do it. Oh, we're a little taking it in the money there. Research concluded. Oh yeah, we also need shield strength, don't we? Um, <laughs> let's let's change this real briefly. Shield hook points. We're going to need as many of those as we can to survive the contingency. Ninth Fleet, where are you? You're there. Good. Here's what I want you to do is jump to the Megalopolis. Ninth Fleet. We'll get you there. Research concluded. Explosive weapon damage. That would probably be good. We're gonna we're gonna use some of those on those cruisers. Unauthorized synthetic project. A synthetic work detail on Ranks and Prime was recently discovered to have been diverting building material to construct some sort of small unarmed spacecraft in an abandoned hangar. The vessel was half finished when it was found. All of the synths involved in the construction were immediately dismantled so that their memory cores could be thoroughly analyzed, but they appear to have self-wiped just before the units went offline, something their manufacturer assures us should be impossible. Why would they be building a ship? <laughs> yes. 
Why, indeed. Um, I've been negligent. Where is this at? Go to that one. It's right there. It's right there. Okay. Let's get ourselves a science ship that's doing nothing. To research these. Okay. Let's get another science ship. These are Jop. Okay, Jop and Beta. So where is Queso? Where is that? Go there. Queso. Okay, so Quesodilla. Um, yeah, there's a bunch in here. So you can do this research. Research. Get all this research before the contingency arrives. Help our research along. Okay. This fleet here doing a good job. I'm gonna finish that off. Okay, you can go home. And in fact, while you're going home, let's get you adjusted as well. Unrest. Oh, terrorist action. Don't like that. Martial law is supposed to be taking care of that. Thanks for doing that again. Construction project concluded. Research concluded. Leader lifespan. Yes, let's just punch you up there, buddy. Uh, we're, we're minus 1k? Okay. Let's take a look at that. It's probably from... It's the cost of this. Yeah, it's the cost of this. So what we can do is put a cost on it and say don't don't buy it unless it's under 10 per unit. Uh, we're going to need more of these. And it's going to make that sound at us, and that's fine. It's just, I don't want to be spending money on alloys that are that expensive. Governor, gain the trade. Good. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end this episode here. This seems like a decent time. Um, the contingency is coming. We're going to get ready. Thanks for watching, folks. As always, if you guys dig the episode, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a question or comment down below. And my Patreon is linked in the description below in case you want to help financially support this rapidly growing young channel. Thanks. I'll see you all next time.